Westpac Bank has painted a grim picture for mortgage holders in its latest review of the New Zealand economy. Despite interest rates climbing since October 2021, Westpac says 90% of mortgage holders are still fixed at around 3.8%. But that will change in the next 12 months when those mortgages roll over. Average new payments will jump $530 per fortnight in most places. While in Auckland, average repayments will be up by $900 per fortnight. The bank predicts house prices will keep falling and that slump will knock many households' net worth. Well, for more on all of this, I'm joined now by Westpac economist Satish Ranchod. Hi there, Satish. Thanks so much for coming in and talking to us. Uh, those figures we heard are pretty alarming, aren't they? They're going to have a huge impact on people's ability to pay their mortgages. It seems there is much worse to come. Those higher interest rates really are going to suck a lot of money out of people's wallets. It's coming at the same time as they're facing pressure on food prices. I think a lot of households are going to find themselves having to rein in their spending before the end of this year. OK, is that going to mean that we're going to see the cutback in spending that the Reserve Bank has sort of been angling for this whole time and get to get inflation under control? Are we heading into a recession? What's the impact? We are likely to see the economy going into a recession as those higher interest rates and high inflation really hit household spending behaviour. We're forecasting that economic activity is going to fall by about a percent and unemployment's going to rise to about 5%. Now, that's not a really large slowdown, not compared to things like the global financial crisis, but it is a pretty material downshift for the economy, for the affected households. They're going to feel quite a big squeeze on their finances. I mean, are we worried here about people not being able to pay their mortgages and losing their homes? How, how bad could it get? I think it's really going to differ for different households across the economy. If you've had your house for a while, it's probably a return to average levels. But if you only entered into to the housing market over the last couple of years, you're going to be looking at a lot of pressure on your finances at the same time as your house value has fallen dramatically. OK, some of the better news, though, there were some highlights around our exports. What are those? What we are seeing is some good news for our services exports, particularly tourism. International visitors are coming back into the country much faster than expected. That's given a big boost to our hospitality sector. I think we're going to see some increasingly positive numbers on that front over the year ahead. What about things like those traditional um, commodities, the dairy and that sort of, those sort of exports? Are they looking better? We're still seeing some firm prices for a lot of those big exports that we put out, like dairy and meat. That's providing a big boost to incomes in areas like Waikato. Many of those regions that have been hit by storms recently, if they're still able to export, that'll provide a boost to their incomes. OK, so not all of them are able to exactly. export, are they? Uh, what concerns, uh, there have been concerns around the rebuild for Cyclone Gabrielle in terms of the exports, but also in terms of the inflationary pressures around rebuilding. What is your take on that? I think we're going to see inflation pressures in the near term from that reduced capacity, that reduction in food production. Longer term, though, what's going to be important there is how the economy as a whole is tracking. If the economy starts to cool, we'll see some pressure from the rebuild, but that'll be contained. On the other hand, if demand doesn't slow, those rebuild pressures really could compound what's already a tough situation for prices. OK, thank you so much for your thoughts tonight. Thank you.